Hello world, this is BC Radio 1 News coming to you from the Republic of Ireland. My name is Evangelist B, bringing you the news as things unfold. By the Daily Times TV online news, leave iPub alone, go after headsmen killing people in river states. Amechi tells Wike, we are bringing you the news now in full detail. Port Harcourt, former governor of River State, Chibuike Amechi, has faltered the order issued by Governor Yesum Wike against members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in River State. Wike had on Monday charged the 23 council chairmen and youths in the state to fish out members of IPOB over the violence that erupted nationwide following the NSAS protests. Amechi, the Nigerian Minister of Transport, who faulted Wike action in Abuja on Tuesday, 27th of October 2020, asked the governor to focus on the real problem in river states and leave IPOB alone. He stated that Fulani Haysmen are one of the major problems the people of river states are facing. The minister said it is very funny that Wike has decided to leave the administrative works to arrest and kill innocent people of Obibo in River State. What have Wike done for Obibo people since he took over as the governor of River State? Instead of him to attack innocent Obibo people, let him go after those herdsmen killing people in River State. Better, better still go, or better still go after those with oil well who are not indigenous people of his state. My people, you have heard. You have heard from the Minister of Transport 14 Yesowike declaration of IPOB. You can see that this minister is also from River State and this Minister of Transport have categorically expressed his mind trying to tell Wike that you are not doing what you are supposed to do. The, the Nigerian government proscribed the IPOB, a terrorist group. How does it now turn to be the duty of Wike, according to the Minister of Transport, to leave his administrative work and start killing? He, he made it open here that Wike is killing innocent people of Obibo. And he asked a question, Wike, what have you done for the people of Obibo in the river state? So when Wike is not doing anything for the people of Obibo, and the people of Obibo are rising up 
to challenge the governor for not, number one, defending them from the Fulani killing. Number two, there are people who own oil wells in River State who are not indigenous people. And we can have not gone to fight them. We can have not done anything to recover the oil well. They part in particular, if you listen to the statement published by this uh, Minister of Transport, Amechi, he said that he is killing innocent Obibo people, the people of River State, that Wike is going about arresting and killing them. This is the Minister of Transport now exposing what Wike has been doing. Wike is a very terrible human being, but we, we have been praising him and talking good of him even without having any iota knowledge of this man's character, who he is. But based on the statement issued by an elite like him, Minister of Transport, Amechi, have exposed that Wike has been arresting and killing innocent Obibo people. Have you seen? You heard it. He has been arresting and killing innocent people of Obibo in order to please his Flani uh, masters. Everybody know that the river state has been surrounded by the Janjaweeds. The Minister of Transport can testify about this because through, by his statement he said, he, this is the statement that he made in Abuja when he was addressing the proscription issued by Wike against the indigenous people of Biafra, against his own people. You can now see that uh, none of these politicians are innocent to the killings of people. The oil wells, the Minister of Transport said, wrote me, Amechi said, go and fight on how to restore those oil wells that are owned by non-indigenous people of River State or Obibo. Go and get the oil. Or go and begin to fight against the hellsmen that are harassing, killing, destroying, raping women. Why is it that Wike has turned to be a very, a very stupid, insensible human being? Who has made him this? Is it the same presidency we are talking about? Everybody in the, in the eastern Nigeria, even part of the west, are scrambling, clamoring to become the president in 2023. Everybody, some of them are fighting for the vice president. And if all this number of people, multitude of politicians are scrambling for one position, and because of that position, they are selling their citizens. It's very sad. Very, 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 very sad. Very, very sad that we can have now turned against his own people. The former video that I made the other day when I got the information, when I saw his uh, press release against the IPOB that is banning him, I know his banning doesn't make any sense anyway. It doesn't make sense at all because the federal government have banned and the IPOB are still there powering. Niger it was only Nigeria that prescribed IPOB terrorists. The world, the entire world power. They refused to buy or to kin in with this nonsense. They didn't accept it. They said no. Even the British... The colonial master raised alarm immediately. The same 
day that they said these people are terrorists, the British government issued a statement said these people are not terrorists, notwithstanding that uh, we are like fighting with them. No, we are not even fighting with them because we are just asking for our rights. And they knew, the British government knew quite all right, that what we are fighting for is legitimate. You stole something, mandate from people, their right, their liberty, and they are asking you to return it back. You might call it insult in any way. When you came to us with a gun and harass us and surrender people, put chain on them, did you come with peace? You did not come with you. It, and it's, it's more than an insult. It's more than insult. It's not that we are encouraging insult or using bad and hard languages on people, but there is a, there is a condition you place someone, someone that uh, when he look for an avenue or means of uh, getting himself into that com into that uh, uh, problem, the person might turn violently, try to release himself from that thing that is holding or pinning him down. So now we can see that uh, it is not IPOB now saying that WIKE has been killing people. It is the former I mean, the, the former governor of River State, now the Minister of Transport, uh, Rotmi and Meichi, have now cautioned Wike Governor Wike of River State that your prescription to the IPOB is completely nonsensical. That you have to go and fight the Flani, the Boko Haram, the people that have surrendered the River State. These are the the real enemy, not the people of Obibo. The people of Obibo that you are declaring war against, according to the former governor, now Minister of Transport, Rotimi Amoechi, his statement is a proof and is showing to us that Wike is the one arresting and killing innocent people. He is arresting and killing innocent people. I repeat it again. Rotmi Amechi, the former governor of River State, have categorically stated that Wike is going about arresting and killing innocent people. The question I want to ask us, those of you or youth that is calling, the same youth that came out the other day and the military opened fire on you. You are the same youth that Wike is calling to come and stand and to fish out the people who are members of IPUB. Then if you are fools, if you youths are fools, go out and be fishing them and what you see, you take it. Our people used to say, when you are monitoring or viewing bend down to see what is in a hole you know, no, no. the thing that is in a hole will also bend down and be watching you too so and the he or easy or popotiana poto poto or ebe or rotten. Manapa mana dat na easy gay tegu and sedena noya. Na gaga gajos choroki gaji daisy, yili white cloth, and you feel that that white cloth will be re, will remain white. No, you and the pig will be able to rubbish yourself. And if I'm to say, as a Christian, what we is doing now. It's not the writing. And if I may say, as somebody who has been enlightened, I don't think that uh, there is any logic to justify Wike uh, saying that you are proscribing your own people in your own land. When you see the evidence since this regime that the government have been assisting Terrorist group like uh, people like uh, the world fourth deadliest classified terrorist group, which is Mietiala and the Flan Hesmen. 
They have not been proscribed. We can. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Wicked, do you think you are intelligent? You are not intelligent because the rifle-minded people in River State will look at you that are proscribing the people of Obibo or River State, your own brothers. When the real terrorists that world classified fought deadly in your own country, your government refused to name them terrorists. Are you not ashamed of yourself? We are you not I, does it not show insensible that you don't have any sense at all? It is a proof because I said, like I said again, any sensible river state person, I don't know whether you are dividing the state. I don't know whether you are dividing river state. You say that river state is the most accommodatable place for anybody can live. Who tell you that we are telling that people, IPO, is IPO be telling people to live? The youths are asking to end terrorism. The SAS people that you weak, you weak is saying that SAS are the one kidnapping and killing. You have not declared them terrorists terrorist in your state, weak. Now you are, how many videos, even, even during that period or this period of demonstration or protest, weak, you make a, a press statement and also confessing and testifying that the SARS are terrorists, that they have been terrorists, they are engaged into kidnapping, they are engaged into, into raping of women, they are engaged into killing people and selling their body parts, their organs. We the same week. How many people have you seen the IPOB people? How many people have they killed and sell their organ? We can. even in that river state, you can see. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra gave command to clean the state. You show how decent. How many Fulani men are cleaning the state for you? How many Fulani people have born village or born houses and go and clean it for you? We I'm asking you. We can. Do you think you are sensible at all? Look at you. Declaring war in your own state. The people are bringing war to your state. Your children are fighting to stop them waging war against the intruders. Now you are the one weak. If you are intelligent, if you are sensible, the council you are setting up is a useless council because you are going to destroy people's life. You are going to destroy people's business. You are going to create problem in your own state. You are not intelligent because if you are intelligent, you will not give that order. You won't give the order. Yes, because in the north, answers, answers that is happening in the, in the east and in the, in the west. Where in the north did they participate in answers? No, they are not. Only if you in the plateau state. Few few days gathering and everybody disappear. The the core not the Fulanis, all of them, they say they want SARS. Then why did they want want SARS? We okay, because it's very simple. You testify that SARS are killing people and kidnapping people, raping women, taking the killing people, taking their organ for business and for ritual. We okay, you are the one. Who testified it? Now we have gone to the Satan of Sokoto. We saw you where you are buying yourself like a, a man that you senior. You are buying yourself like a child, like a baby, like a slave in front of him. Then that's what makes you there. Promise you, okay, go and kill your people. If you kill your people, we are going to make you vice president. We are going to make you weak. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man that he gained the whole world? And lose his soul. Think about Tafawa Belewa. Where is Tafawa Belewa today? Think about K. O. Mbadiwe. With all their riches and education. Where is he? Think about Nandia Zekiwe. Who fought and betrayed the Biafran struggle, Biafran war. Where is him right now? Think about our forefathers. All these people that are mentioning. They have... Some of them, when they were alive, if you tell them that they will ever die, no, none of them will 
will agree. We can as you are breathing now and you are the governor of it, you think you are God. You are not God. One day you will step down, you will come down from that office. And uh, the evil you perpetrate on people right now will live with you. We can, I want you to know one thing. This Biafra, you cannot stop it. This IPOB is beyond you. IPOB have gone world, worldwide while you people are there sleeping. IPOB is more legitimate, more recognized, more responsible, regarded in the international community more than you. We can, you people, uh, the foreign forces like United Nations, World, World Food Program, World Food Bank, they sent uh, COVID-19 palliative for you people to share the poor people because of this pandemic. You lock people down. You did not pay them any money. No incentive was given in abroad here. Even up to now, they locked down now a few weeks ago now. They have locked down this city. All the self-employed people that their work is not, they are paying them. Even taxi drivers that are work driving taxi because no customer on the street. The government is paying them money now. We care. How many money, how much are you paying the River State people? How much are you paying? My understanding on the statement issued by the former River State governor, Rotimi Amechi, shows that you have problem. That statement shows that you have problem with Obibo people. He did not even, they did not write it to Yibo. He said it to Obibo. Obibo. He mentioned the rightful name of that place. It means that we you have probably that statement is, is a proof that we governance you are having problems specifically with Obibo people. You have problem with them, and that is the reason why you say that they are vandalizing. That's the reason why they say you are they are killing. We it was you people who incited the talks to go after people. And you can see a fellow governor that come from the same state like you are telling you what you're supposed to do. Go and fight headsmen and go and make an effort to get back the oil well that are hijacked by non-indigenous people in the river state. This is what you're supposed to fight and defend your people, not to fight against your people. The council you are setting, those people you are setting as council, they are human beings weak. I want you to understand that. Like I said before, you don't have seven heads and other people have one. When you tell them to go and hunt people, the people you're telling them to hunt will also hunt them and hunt you. And uh, like I said again, Governor Wiki, you are not intelligent. You can't declare war by yourself in your own state. It's not called for. There is no activity of that we can confirm in any way that uh, uh, IPOB are destructive. The only thing is that they are, they are against your system because your system is fighting against them. They are listening to their leader, Mazen Nandekano, more than you, the governor. That is the only problem. So you cannot tell us that they are vandalizing. You cannot tell us that they are engaging in hooliganism. No. You, the governors, are the one. You are against destruction of property. But if somebody built a hotel in River State the week, you destroy the hotel. You demolish the hotel. What type of human being are you? You are the one who was telling the IPOB that they should not see themselves like puppets. They should not see Nigerians, Nigerian army and Nigerian government as a Goliath. The same week today, you are now telling the, the Southeast governors to declare them terrorists. We can, the Fulanis are coming, killing youths in your state. And you are gathering the, the, the dead minded, dead minded monarchs and telling them that they, they have staff of office. So you are telling the old men to go and be killing their own children as the way you are killing them. Well, Weke, you had a revelation from an outsider from the north. 
that they will be using Fulani Hesmen. Their intention was to be killing the young people. When they finish the young people 2022, they, they, will, in, they will declare civil war and they will come into the city now to begin to kill your own elderly men and important personnel. That conquering, that Islamization, that uh, flanization, it, you are helping them now. And those people you call the elders who cannot advise you and say, no, we cannot go after our own children, our own kind. These are our children. We cannot prescribe them. The people that are maiming and killing people, nobody has prescribed them. Nigerian government refused completely to prescribe them. And you see how foolish you people are in the East. You see how daft some of you are. We are talking about prescription that is illegal, which you yourself also testify that it is not a, a, this is not legal because these people are not have not done anything that can and damn them to be a, a terrorist. You are not reversing, you are a dog going back to your vomit. You are not reversing the word and saying now, oh, as federal government that you are now reactivating it, they are now prescribing them in river state. Do you think you can stop them if federal government, we can, if the federal government could not stop IPOB, do you think it's you that can stop them? You cannot stop them. You are fellow governor. The present minister of transport from the same state have told you your duty. Go and track and fight Boko Haram and terrorist Fulani Hesmen that are in your state. Leave innocent Obibo people that you are killing. Yes, your fellow governor have accused you that you are killing the people. He did not hide his face. He said it and everybody have heard it that you are killing the people of Obibo. And you will be held responsible for the people you are killing. So I thank that uh, governor, uh, minister of transport, former governor of River State, uh, Rotimi Aimechi, at least if they are speaking out, if so people, if people like them are speaking out, I'm not saying that he is a saint in what is happening. He has his own fault as well because all of them were there embezzling and destroying the money that belonged to the people of the state. But at, for the fact that he came up with that, without hiding his feeling, without fear, boldly declare that you are killing innocent people. At least if the monarchs all the chiefs that we have in the villages, all the monarchs, the kings that we have in our land, if they are speaking in this way and saying no, you stop killing the innocent people, stop killing our children. If everybody that are, that, that, that are in power, this elite, the people we call elite in River State or in, in Abia State, Imo State, Kalaba, if every one of them can, can speak out in this manner and say no, you, you stop killing these children. You are killing innocent people. I think... Uh, there, there will be changes. But the thing is that every one of them keep quiet. Pastors keep quiet. Prophet keep quiet. Pope keep, keep quiet. Uh, Reverend keep quiet. Bishop keep quiet. Traditional leaders keep quiet. Everybody keep quiet. They are killing their own children day by day. They know how to set up their children and say, oh, we, we want SARS. Giving 24, 48 hour that they will they will go after this man. In fact, the not we are the people who provoke both the military, both their individual. Those boys they 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 they, they, they hired to come and protest and say that they need SARS. They need SARS. We can. You saw the northern youth declaring and protesting in Abuja that they need SARS. The SARS you condemn, we get the SARS you condemn. Those northern children uh, said that SARS have not done anything. And nobody in the north have uh, challenged them and said, why did you say? All of them keep quiet. They, they buy with the same idea. They agree with the same, they, they, they act in the same mind. But in the, it's very unfortunate that we allow ourselves. So this is bringing us to the end of this discussion, I want you to share this very discussion. Former governor of River State, 
Rotimi Amechi, now the Minister of Transport, defaulted weak case prescription of IPOB, said that stop killing innocent people instead of you to prescribe IPOB. Go and fight those that are killing and raping your children, murdering your women and men. Those that are burning houses in your state, killing people on daily basis. How many have you arrested? How many? We can, can't you prescribe the headsmen in your state who are killing people? Can't you prescribe it? That's what the governor is telling you. So this is our headline today and our topic of discussion. Leave your comment there to what you think and how you feel. The response of the, uh, of the former governor of River State concerning weak case prescription of IPOB. And also if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, it's called BC Radio 1 News. Subscribe so that whenever we get new update like this or any breaking news, you will be the first to get the update. And also share to every social media. And as you do that, may God Almighty bless you in the name of Jesus. Share on Instagram, in Facebook, in Telegram. In WhatsApp, in Messenger, Snapchat, Twitch, Signal, Telegram, any social media that you have registered with, please share the copy. Just copy the link and paste. And do not fail also to press and activate the notification bell. You can see it in front of you there. It is that thing that looks like heart. Please click it to activate it so that whenever I have new updates, you will be the first to get the information. I remain your humble servant, Evangelist B, bringing you this message and this news from the Republic of Ireland. I want you to remain blessed and I pray that the almighty God will keep you, uphold you, and uh, bless you in the name of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMeshai.